welcome to this session on alteration in table structure. In this session, we will discuss modify and drop option of alter table statement. Let us revise the content we have learned in our previous session. In previous session on alter table statement, we have discussed the need of altering the structure of table. We have also discussed add option of alter table statement to add column or constraints to an existing table. We have also demonstrated the usage of this in SQL. In this session, we will discuss the modify option of alter table statement to change data type or size of existing columns of the table. We will also discuss drop option of alter table statement to drop existing column or constraints from the table. Let's start this session. Let us demonstrate these statements. Here we have a student table with six columns and these are their data types. These are the contents of student table. It has only one row. Now if we have to change the size of name field from character 15 to character 20, the statement will be alter table student modify name character 20. If I execute this statement, it shows table has been altered and describe student indicate that it has been changed. Now let us change the data type of existing name column. Here it is character and I can change it to another compatible data type that is variable character. In order to change the data type of name column from character to variable character, I can use this statement. Table has been altered. Describe table statement shows that name has been changed from character to variable character. Here the data type of address is variable character and its size is 50. Let us reduce its size from 50 to 20. This alter statement is used to reduce the size of address from character 50 to character 20. If I execute this statement, table has been altered. But if I try to reduce it to 10, then it is not allowed. It means, it means I can only reduce the size of variable character column up to a point to which it satisfies the values of existing columns. Otherwise, we have to first delete existing record, then only I can reduce its size. If I try to reduce the size of mobile number column from 10 to 2, it will again not allowed. Because there is one record which has a mobile number of 10 digits. So in order to facilitate this, I have to delete existing records. then only I can reduce its size. There are some important points which we should keep in mind while using modify option. To reduce the size of member column, it is mandatory to empty the column for all rows. Reducing the length is allowed for variable character or character column if reduce size satisfy existing values. Otherwise, we have to delete its values for all the rows. Changing the data type of a column is allowed from character to variable character and vice versa. 
otherwise we have to empty the column values for all rows sometimes after enforcing a constraint during creation of table we realize that this constraint is not required or there are some columns in a table that are not currently applicable and you wish to drop these constraints or column from the existing table for this the solution is drop options of alter table statement let us understand the usage of drop option of alter table to remove primary key constraints from student table we can issue the statement alter table student drop primary key and to drop mobile number column from student table we can issue the statement alter table student drop column name of the column and in this case it is mobile underscore number to remove check constraint on marks column of student table we have to specify constraint name in alter table and its syntax is alter table table name drop constraint constraint name but normally we don't know this constraint name as if we have not supplied it during creation of table then it had been assigned by oracle to know the constraint name the solution is to query user underscore constraint table so we can query user underscore table through this statement this alter table statement is used to drop primary key constraint from student table it has been dropped yes it has been dropped from roll number column this statement is used to drop mobile number column from student table it has been and we can verify it through this cry statement let us summarize the concept we have learned in this session in this session we have learned modify and drop option of alter table statement we have also demonstrated these statements in sql you can further read more on alter table statement in reading section of week 3 thanks for watching this video now let us revise the concept we have learned in this session in this session we have learned the usage of now let us revise the concept we have learned in this session in this session we have learned the usage of in this session now let us revise the concept we have learned in this session in this session we have learned the usage of drop and modify option now let us revise the concept now let us summarize the concept we have learned in this session in this session we have learned drop in this session we have learned in this session we have learned modify and drop option of alter table statement and we have demonstrated its usage let us summarize the concept we have learned in this session in this session let us summarize the concept we have learned in this session in this session we have learned the concept of modify and drop option of alter table statement we have also demonstrated we have also demonstrated the usage of these statements you can further read more on you can further read on alter table statement in reading section of week 3 you can further read on alter table statement in reading section of week 3 you can further read on alter table statement in reading section of week 3 thanks for watching this video and we can verify it through describe statement to drop check constraint on class column we have to supply constraint name and we don't know its constraint name to drop to drop check constraint on class column we have to supply its constraint name 
and normally we don't know it to retrieve the information to retrieve the information about constraints we can issue this statement this query 